Welcome to the black hole. <laughs> this is the black hole where everything that's known is also unknown. Where everything that is learned is also unlearned. Where everything that is, isn't. Welcome to the black hole. <laughs> when all of this is just this apparent, apparent. Welcome to the black hole where there's nothing that exists. Not even nothing because everything is unknown. <laughs> um, when there was this seeking, there was this intensity in trying to swim against the black hole. It was trying to avoid nothingness. It was afraid of its own disappearance. Although everything is already a black hole, everything is already unknown, it was afraid of the unknown. It feared death. It feared love. It feared existence. It feared non-existence. But when it's seen that everything is just this black hole, that there's nothing that is not even known, and then there's just this radical acceptance that everything is just nothing. Everything is just this nothingness. And not even that, because no one knows what nothing is. So it's a black hole. No one has ever gone to the other side because there's no other side. <laughs> this is all a black hole where there's no movement, there's nothing happening, and there's just this eternal sucking in or vacuuming of everything that is known. I was speaking earlier that when there was a seeker and a teacher, it was a hoarder. It was a hoarder of knowledge, it was a hoarder of knowing, it was a hoarder of everything. It was a hoarder of, of street cred. I went to this workshop with this character, with this guru before. Um, I was on the feet of this guru before. But that is just an appearance and everything that is actually not happening because it's a black hole. And in this black hole, <laughs> everything that is known vanishes. Everything that you know vanishes. Everything that you are vanishes. Every time, every history, even memories vanishes. And seemingly in this moving stillness, in this sounding silence, there's this appearance. There's appearance of reality that is very persistent, that is very real. But the moment that the apparent, uh, you know, illusion gets shattered or gets disrupted, it's sucked in, meaning it doesn't exist. And at night, when there's a sleeping, although no one goes to sleep, everything that is previously known gets sucked in. But at the same time, when there's an awakening, there's no time, there's no before or after. I'm just telling really a story of the, uh, the black hole existence of non-existence. So everything that is perceived as reality, what's that? It's a black hole. It's a mystery. It's nothing at all. In this black hole that's appearing <laughs> as everything, um, what's being expressed is that there's this wildness, there's this anarchy, there's this, it's almost like this dance, like, um, and this is just a story again, there's like this black hole that's sucking everything in and there's this apparent illusion that's dancing but it's really nothing. It's really, really nothing. But no one knows nothing is because nothing is unknown. And the one that knows or purports to know that they know the unknown, it's just a black hole. It's just an illusion. It's not real. But in this seeming play of light, play of sounds, play of stillness, play of movement, this appearance, this dance, this intricate, beautiful, dark, mysterious, stunning clarity that all that ever was is this. And all that there is is this. 
So any ideas that come up, there's this black hole that poof, that's nothing. Any concept that comes up, whoop, nothing. You can also say that this is just death. I'm just using different words because before the apparent character gets landed in a, an idea of, of, <laughs> of something, then it becomes a knowledge. It becomes a knowing. It becomes, I know now. But the moment that the I appears, the I know, I am, this, all this kind of stuff, it's just dancing into the illusion again. It's engaging in the illusion again. And there's nothing wrong or right about that since it's just an illusion. But what's being expressed here is that um, in this mysteriousness, which is also aliveness, which is also emptiness, which is also this wholeness, there's no source. There's no behind. There's no after. There's no before. There's no then, there's no now. So in this disorienting appearance, sometimes kind of like, what's going on? No one knows. No one knows because you're not even here to know. You're not even here at all. So there's this appearance of time and illusion and knowing and understanding. And it is, isn't it amazing that there is actually this impossibility that this is happening, but somehow this is appearing. Isn't it this incredibleness of this appearance that this seemingly unhappening is happening right before your eyes? But before you get stuck there, there's a black hole that sucks it in. <laughs> no one knows. There's no one controlling the black hole. There's no black hole. There's nothing at all. Just throwing in some different words and everything. It's just a dance in this silence and trying to express that everything that is being expressed is also silence. In this silence that is longed for, and I think I mentioned this earlier, the silence that is longed for is heard in everything. Whatever is sought is appearing in everything. What is desired is this. And this apparent appearance that is swirling into nothing all the time. No one notices because there's no one, but there's this continuous seeming time of here, before and after in history, memories that supports it. But it's like this long tunnel of deep nothing. It's the breaking of the fantasy because the fantasy comes of what this should be. And then it gets, it's kind of like, you know, I don't know if you've been in a situation where um, things are really going wrong and you tune, tune off and you're like, oh, kind of like, you know, I'm dancing somewhere. I'm DJing. <laughs> There's imagination. What's, what, that is also it. There's nothing wrong or right about that because everything is just going to get sucked in anyway into the black hole, into this nothingness. In the black hole, there's nothing. There's no one. It's a mystery. There's no problems. There's silence. There's eternity. There's infiniteness. It never ends. And it's completely unknowable. And you can't surrender to the black hole because there's no you to surrender to the black hole. It's just what's happening. And it's also not happening. In short... <laughs> Nothing is happening. But there's, an impo there's a possibility of everything appearing in the dream. If you have any questions, um, <laughs> thank you for this doom and gloom with a smile. <laughs> Oh, yes, it's recorded. Thank you. I'm so trying to use speaker. It's a comment. Oh. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Can you put it in testimony? <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I was talking about black hole earlier, so that's just <laughs> that's just what came up. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like DJing, you know, when you're DJing, all of a sudden it's an incredible set or it's a horrible set. Then everybody's dancing. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's the pants. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Eliana. Thank you, Tej. Thank you. You're right, Vic, it's the pants. <laughs> it's tight. So <laughs> So yeah, if there's this apparent kind of like seeing, right, that whatever comes up is not. It shows up and it's shows up. It's like this dance, right? It's this pulsating nothingness and everythingness appearing um, seemingly in time as different, you know, back and forth and everything. Sometimes you're kind of like, you know, cooking and you're singing and everything. And all of a sudden you're worrying about the stock market or, you know, uh, the virus or something or the vaccines or whatever seems to be happening. And you're like, oh, my goodness. And all of a sudden you're kind of like whistling again, doing nothing. And all of a sudden you can like, oh, I have to plan my... um my will <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I'm going to die soon I don't know <laughs> I have to arrange my funeral <laughs> go over here Vic. can I ask you I kind of know this but can I ask you can it be can it be accurately described uh, as uh, when you say death like a like like a fading or a lightning like a like light like like a what do you call it? like a cloud of smoke that dissolves into thin air even though i know in it but when it dissolves into thin air you it's, realize it never existed yeah yeah like, kind of like that it's like a it's, it's like a fog lifted right you're it's like almost like a way to get there to get to that realization and then you realize there that it wasn't you there wasn't a it seemed like a dissolving but it really wasn't because nothing ever was there i like that yeah that yeah yeah that's kind of what comes when you're saying that that's what i'm kind of yeah i'm not sure if i'm getting you know yeah. it cannot really be conceptualized so we're talking in concepts and stories because that's so can, can that be can that kind of facilitate like can that help something knowing even knowing going into it knowing that i'm just using this con concept to go beyond concepts or to, to be or to but that will still be a concept though or not to, I, i'm not maybe expressing it so that I dissolve. But there's no you to dissolve. Right. So can I use that to get there and realize I don't exist and that, you know what I'm saying? No. You can't do that. No. <laughs> right? like, I'm saying, like, like you're kind of saying, a practice to get out of practice. Does that make sense? To get out of needing a practice. Well, that's still a practice. So doing and not doing is the same. Mm. There's no choice. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> me, me okay. <laughs> Thank you, Rosie. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No one has fear of death. No. This is death already. This is death already because there is this, when there is a fear of death, there's an investment 
in the apparent character, right? There's there's an investment in um or it's a fearing of the unknown. But this is already unknown. So what's the fear? This is already unknown. It thinks it knows. Luckily I don't swim. <laughs> 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 yeah. All that there is is this. So it doesn't really entertain what could happen, right? It's just all of this is just this. It gets sucked in into the black hole. It's just seen as nothing. That's what I mean. Everything rises and goes. That's also what seems to be happening. You know what I'm saying? It's just this thoughts about um if there's, and this is just a story again, you know what I'm saying? This is not really addressing anyone. In the apparent character's apparent perspective, everything rises up. Or sometimes you're like, I don't know what I was talking about again. It got sucked in, All right? And that's the nature of everything, apparently, is that it's really nothing. Back to nothing. Always nothing. Expressing as nothing. Nothing is everything. Nothing matters. Nothing happening. And... And characters don't like to hear that because it wants something. It wants something that is delicious, something that is um, tangible, something that is um, exciting. But it doesn't see that nothing is also exciting. It doesn't see that emptiness is also, wow. Because this is emptiness, but it doesn't see this as emptiness. This is awakeness, but it doesn't see this as awakeness. Everything is awake. But it's really nothing. Everything is appearing as it is. Everything is already, I don't like using the word enlightened, but no one's enlightened, but everything is enlightened. Everything is already completely, insanely <laughs> alive, but it's also dead. And it's just this dance of aliveness, awakeness, this radiance, this brilliance, this stunning, this darkness, this lightness. Everything is dancing. But the dancing is not real. It's like entertainment, but for no one. Where did the black hole idea came from? From the black hole. <laughs> from nowhere. <laughs> I don't know. I was just, I, 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 do you remember when I was talking about a black hole earlier? I can't remember. You do okay? Was it in a talk or was it in, in, the, in the break? Oh, okay. The black hole, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Maybe everything that is appearing is just like sun, the sunlight glimmering on the water or reflect. I might write a poem, maybe. <laughs> but I did want to say, um, with the idea of like there not being any source is, uh, is surprising, you know, like it's this, all, all this obviously is surprising for somebody to try to take in and, but don't say it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And um, yeah, but I was uh, thinking you're kind of like what you're doing is taking away the anchor for people. So the, the idea that there's a source is also tied in with the idea of a soul, the idea of uh, a separate uh, identity. And you're, you're taking away the anchor. Or you're saying, actually, you're pointing out that there is no anchor. Yeah. And I forget what my point was after that, but it's kind of cool, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, 
and and I was um, thinking like, um, well, you were saying, okay, how you the, the that that there's n nothing is here, like there is nothing. Well, also, I, it made me think. Well, how can you prove it? You know, that's a, yeah. maybe the automatic uh, response. The there. Yeah, <laughs> but that's the automatic response. It's like, how can you prove that yeah. there is nothing? But then I thought, conversely, like, how can you prove that there is something? Because it go, I go back to the I, the scientists can't find matter, so in a way, you can't prove that there is something. So far, anyway, they haven't. They will maybe in a couple of weeks. Who knows? Or a couple of years. <laughs> Thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you. Nothing can be proven because no one can prove anything. Right? So the anchor that you're talking about, when it's illuminated, there's no anchor. So there's no one here. But your belief right now, your anchor right now is your belief that there's someone here. So when that anchor is illuminated, that there's no one here, you don't have to believe me. But this is the four oil saying that there's no one there. There's no anchor. This is free flowing. This is sailing by itself. This is the ocean. Why do you need anchor in an ocean? Yeah. Every, everything that is, every knowing and every understanding, every anchor, every concept drowns in the sea of unconditional love. It sees it not as beliefs, it sees it as love itself. But all the concept, it just is nothing. It's free floating. <laughs> Thank you. Linus goes, they look so much hollow from the James Webb telescope. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Linus. Travis goes, the definite the message definitely feels like a big letdown <laughs> for this sense of self. It feels shockingly exciting exciting and depressing simultaneously. Like a black hole. It's exciting, but it's also scary, and it's and it's depressing at the same time. I remember uh, Andreas uh, Mueller mentioning it feels like a yeah. This is free float. This is like free floating. It's like you know when you're just free floating, no anchor. Yeah, you just said that. I said that yeah, and someone mentioned that too. <laughs> there. <laughs> Travis, um, yeah, this is free. When there's no anchor, when there's nothing holding you back. It's free. It's unconditionally free. So what seems to be holding back this apparent unconditional liberation is belief, ideas, knowing, teachers, speakers. <laughs> Don't believe anything that I say because I'm not even here. Right? When there's this seeing that there's no one that can get you there, then they're seeing that there's no one there to get to anywhere because this is already free floating. This is already free as it is. As it is, nothing, nowhere to go, nothing to figure out. Because once you get it figured out, it's just a black hole again. It's nothing. Once it's understood, it's also a black hole. It's, it's, it's under. And there's this anchor and trying to hold on to a knowing or an idea or a belief or a, a concept. And it trips up and it just completely barricades um, this freedom that is appearing as everything, even though everything is getting sucked in into nothingness. It's like swimming up, <laughs> swimming upstream. <laughs> Sorry. Mind chatter going on or inner dialogue? There's no mind. The question is there's still mind chatter going on or dialogue? Yeah. Yeah, there's there's no one here, you know what I'm saying, that's appearing. I'm just going to talk in directness and in a dream. So in this directness, there's no chatter. Right? There's just this talking. It's just this all at onceness. It's just this immediacy. In the apparent dream, you know what I'm saying, the chatter appears like, okay, um, I should wear something, you know, today or whatever. You know, I should put on socks or something or oh I'll, I'll put on but in the illusion, it looks like there's a process, but 
what's being expressed here, this is all at once. So chatter is not even happening. There's an illusion of chatter happening. There's an illusion of thought process happening. But it's not really happening. That's what I mean. It's silence as well, yeah. There's an illusion. Mind chatter is silence appearing as mind chatter. I call it, uh, I also call, what did I, do I call it again? Um, it's like an app. <laughs> it's like a reminder app. It's like a Siri. It just pops up, but you can't turn it off. It just appears. It's either helpful or not. But it's not really. It's just an appearance. It's just this, it's just an illusory app. It, it's like a guide to this illusory world. All right. Oh, turn left. There's a puddle there. An app. Don't put too much salt. The last time, um, I don't know. You couldn't eat the salad. I like how Anna Brown, she compared the, the inner dialogue or the mind chatter to uh, commentator, people in the commentator box or whatever at a football game, yeah. like commentating for the radio or like TV. Yeah, like and, cool. and so I guess that, she was saying that that, that kind of uh, kind of does disappear or yeah. lessens a lot. I like I like that analogy actually. It's just this chatter and then and then, um, but it's just the game playing with no commentators. Or the way sometimes that I make an analogy of it is like uh, it's like you know when you're watching a movie and you forget to put on this turn off the subtitles and the subtitles is in French, and you're watching something and you're trying to kind of like understand the subtitles but you don't really speak French. It's just what's happening. So there, it's just that this, it, when you're too lazy, sometimes you just ignore it. It's, it's still there, you know what I'm saying? But you're not trying to figure out what's happening and trying to understand what's happening when you don't understand what's happening. It's just what's occurring, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that too, Travis. Travis goes, so funny. I was going to mention it feels like floating down a river trying to grab onto slippery rocks. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to swim, but I like, you know, going on a, you know, one of those kind of like a tube and floating, like down a river. That's what I miss a little bit about this apparent, um, you know, um, BC. There's a lot of that going on over there. In Ontario, um, there's none of that. But there's also this, I was just mentioning to, um, to Vic yesterday that, that the suburbs is paradise. Everything is paradise. When everything and every idea of what paradise should be and should not be, when it gets sucked into a black hole, then everything appears as it is, as the paradise that it is. Um, there's just this beautiful appearance for no one. Except for Kennedy. Except for Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> we should go there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, you know what? It was kind of funny when I was a meditate when I was a spiritual teacher. Um, this company, a float company, decided I should be an ambassador. <laughs> I had free floats all the time free floats all the time it was just I was the ambassador right so I had this <laughs> sponsorship <laughs> I was an influencer before the influencers you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I actually really didn't like it no because the chatter was too loud 
and here I was supposed to be a meditation, you know, master at that time. And they were like, how was it? I'm like, it was great. <laughs> Actually, I did it afterward. And it was just beautiful. It was beautiful. It was just, it's, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like when there's a, uh, um, just don't get there with any cuts though, because the salt. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like floating this conversation is appearing is happening there's no direction to it it's really nothing so see when that was talking there happening about floating tanks and everything who was there no one it's always no one that was silence appearing as these voices wasn't that peaceful? Yeah. This conversation that's happening, apparently seeming going back and forth about a flotation tank and there's just this immediacy and this directness of what's happening. Conversations going back and forth. Who's talking? No one. Just voices appearing seemingly out of nowhere. And now they're thinking about it. <laughs> Was there really no one there? <laughs> oh, I guess I, someone said, I wish, I wish I was there with you guys. I wish you were here too, but you're actually not here. And no one is here. So this is the same. <laughs> but I know what you mean. <laughs> We're probably going to go for Indian food afterwards or Thai food or whatever. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's Emerson's motivation behind these talks of food? Samosas. <laughs> and donuts, because it's a hole. <laughs> A whole hole. That sounds kind of nasty, doesn't it? Yeah. Hey, Emerson, can you do this weekly from now on? I don't know. <laughs> There's enjoyment here. I do have the weekly Friday talk. Um, um, and um, I really like, you know what? I've never done it uh, in an online thing, but I'm thinking of doing maybe in August, like a five-day online one. The, it, it's, that's, the, um, that's what I do in, in, in BC, in Vancouver. It's just a five-day. Maybe, yeah, that'll be kind of fun. Or maybe we'll go to um, Vic's house. <laughs> yeah. um, in in Vancouver yeah they're all over yeah um from all over yeah Tej is from California Petra is from um Germany near Kislag right Susie's from Australia Leela's from yeah all over and nowhere Yes. Serial, serial international murderer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. International, <laughs> international. I like that better. <laughs> what did you say? International murderer? <laughs> That's right. But can never be found because it's nowhere. 
Yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you get a hit box for that. You're a black belt. Oh, wow. 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 It's it's still a black belt. <laughs> Just black belt belting. <laughs> we don't we don't know on belting. <laughs> Just like the black hole. <laughs> Is that invisible? Yeah, there's there's no one here. We're getting a little loopy, which is great. You said, I heard you say before, um, you fell away, as you call it, and then you kept hitting the wa hitting a wall. Um, can you explain what you mean by kept hitting the wall? Yeah, yeah. You mean like you reverted reverted to? Uh, no, when when the apparent um, when the apparent um, end of seeking for no one, you know, when it was illuminated that there was no one seeking, that was the end of the hitting of the wall. Prior to that, in the apparent dream, it just kept on trying to, the dream tried to keep on getting out of the dream, but it kept on hitting a wall. Prior to falling away. Prior to falling away. Yeah, so there's this learning and trying to understand. There was trying to, um, you know, um, uh, trying to, uh, what do you call it, um, grasp it trying to know it trying to apply it how do i apply this it can't be applied right so there was no hitting the wall after you fell away, you fell away. it wasn't like there was no wall and there was no one hitting the wall <laughs> when there was a falling away it's just everything black hole right because you know um all the kind of like learning and, and kind of like the frustration when it was seen that the anchor was that there was a belief that I will get enlightened. So when that belief, that shackle, that black hole, you know what I'm saying, that everything is just happening, the control, the manipulation, the hoarding, just got sucked in. That's not even, collapses or gets drained down the drain, right? All the beliefs, knowing, understanding. So there was no one hitting the black, no one hitting the black, no, hitting the wall. <laughs> I was about to say hitting the black wall. <laughs> no one's hitting the wall. Because there's no wall. This is free. But, but you hit the blackboard with, and you had to write it a hundred times. I am not, I don't exist. <laughs> I used to wake up in the morning and I would say that there's no me. There's no me. There's no me. <laughs> you mean like when you were when seeking, yeah. Yeah. And then I would do a whole bunch of different mantras. <laughs> but when you're doing that, when there's no me, it's just reinforcing that there was a me in the first place, right? And then when you, when I kept on hitting the, 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 the brick wall, that there was someone hitting a brick wall. So I'm like, I can't get this. I remember saying, I will never get this. I will never get this. And then when, when there was an apparent dropping away, I remembered saying I will never get this and I laughed so hard. I'm like, of course, because there's no one to get it. And that was just really obvious. So there's this this cartoon character saying, I will never get this, hitting a black wall, brick wall. I will never get this brick wall. And that's what's being expressed here. You will never get this. Someone said that was harsh. <laughs> it's actually just the the radicalness of this communication. Actually, what seems really harsh, and what was seen after the apparent, you know, dropping away of the character that, that never was, was that um, it's actually a really kind <laughs> communication. It's really honest because it doesn't it doesn't dangle the carrot. It doesn't give any hope because when hope is given, when there's a dangling of the carrot. It's actually really vicious. 20 more minutes in meditation every day there, Kelsey. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or just more affirmations. 
or more kind of like gratitude journal. And that's what he used to do. And when, when it was eating me up that this character was teaching all of that, it was just this um, prescribing something, is prescribing some illusory pill into an illusory situation and hoping that this apparent illusion can get out of the illusion. Um, and really at the end of at the end, end of it there was there was really um just this appearance and there's nothing wrong with it. There's never been anything wrong. Travis goes, say Emerson is possibly thinking of going to Jim Newman in Chicago. I'm not really sure because um I'm kind of working out on some um um I might be going back to Montreal, so I'm not really sure. And um, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. There's a lot of talks in, in speaking somewhere, too. Um, but Jim is really cool. He likes sushi, if you're going there. Buy him sushi. <laughs> but good sushi. <laughs> The motivation is food. And he's really tall. Jim is tall. <laughs> so he needs lots of sushi. <laughs> Emerson, this is your best talk ever. Oh, thank you. If there's no one learning, how come you keep on getting better and better? I don't know. I'm not better. <laughs> it's really flattering, though, but it gets you nowhere. There's no one here. So there's this apparent speaking about this. There's this passion. There's no timeline. Um, but this apparent talks, there's just this passion. And the apparent dream, kind of like when DJing, um, <laughs> The set just gets longer when there's an enjoyment, when there's this apparent um, passion just happening. I remember DJing one time in, um, in a festival out of the head generator, and there was just this love of doing that. So um, when the DJ didn't show up, the next DJ didn't show up, I think I DJed for like 8, 10 hours. It's like this. So this feels, in the apparent dream, just this dreamy, dreamy stuff that is just no one talking here. It's just automatic. No preparation <laughs> needed. So it's really free. And I get to eat samosas. How many times did I say samosa in this meeting? <laughs> Carla Samosa. Maybe I should. <laughs> Samosa and chai. <laughs> Ooh, cinnamon rolls. I was actually planning to go to the Bramall E City Center and grab some cinnamons. <laughs> next meeting, next meeting, next meeting. Yeah, there's a couple of organizers that are asking if um, I should travel. But honestly, I have to really talk to um, to my mom, right? I'm a caretaker of my mom. She's uh, She she requires wheelchair now. So um, this character loves giving moms massages, that kind of stuff. And maybe a long trip might be, maybe short ones. Because I was thinking of going uh, somewhere far. But maybe later when I arrange something. But yeah, this there's this... There's this passion in speaking about this. Um, give me some Moses, I'll talk. <laughs> Emerson, you got it. Emerson, you got it. Come to California. Okay. <laughs> Do you have some Moses there? Yeah, lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a short flight, actually. It's not that bad. It's like five hours. 
to California? Uh, I think not even that. Uh, depends where you are. Yeah. If you're on the West I'm Coast. I'm in Canada, so it's probably five hours. <laughs> it's really bad at the airport. Really, really bad. Um, yeah. And actually, Montreal, I ended up um, doing a ride share because the, the, the flights were bad, right? So, um, yeah, yeah. Um, I was planning to, but the, um, um, I think the Via Rail only traveled, you know, not that consistent. I checked Via Rail, but I love the train. I love the train. Um, I love the... Um, that it's not moving. <laughs> There's this stillness in the train because of this kind of like almost like rhythmic kind of stuff. I don't know if you slept on a train. I don't know if you slept in a, in, you know, one of those kind of, it's a hypnotic. It's a hypnotic yeah. A yeah. There's this thing with a train, right? And, um, I, I took the train. Uh, the beautiful one, though, is in Rocky Mountains from Banff, the Rocky Mountains. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Beautiful. It's it's worth it, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they have these sales in VRL just to get like a sleeping cabin. Beautiful when you're lying down and um and it's and the food is actually not bad. Yeah. When I was a famous spiritual teacher, I was afforded to travel by train first class. Now I take ride shares. <laughs> No, no, no one was famous. When is it in uh, when is it in October, Travis? Hi, Emerson. There's this feeling that there's nothing happening, but I don't understand it. Yeah. You can see that that's also just resonance happening. It's not about understanding. So resonance is just this, this um, kind of like an aha, like, oh, nothing's happening. But it's not an understanding. Because the moment that becomes an understanding, then nothing becomes something. What's being expressed here is that there is just this almost kind of like um, I'm in the same tune with nothing. There's nothing happening. And it's almost this, this um, energetic resonance that something is doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. This intuitiveness. And it doesn't make sense, right? So when it's kind of like, it's kind of like um, when there's this lucidity in the dream that, you know, that you're dreaming. I don't know if you've had a dream that was lucid. And then you're kind of like, know that you're dreaming, know that this is a dream. That's what's being expressed here. That really it's a dream. So meaning it's not really happening, but you can't understand it because the dream is playing. The dream is kind of like happening, but there's this also this lucidity that, you know what? This is just a dream. So that's what's being expressed. Is it's not about understanding that nothing's happening, but there's just this resonance. There's intuitiveness that, okay, wait a second. Nothing is happening. This is not going on. So in that sense, we do come to an understanding that nothing is happening. It's not really an understanding. Again, it's an in intuition, right? It's this intuitiveness. 
it's like this remembrance almost. It's kind of like you're kind of like, um, how do you, how do I say it in a better way? Yes, I was just thinking in a lucid dream, you, yes. you, you, it, it's not like an understanding that it's a dream, it's more of a, sense, a sense of an intelligence or something. Yeah, not, not even that. You no, really not even intelligence. It. Yeah. It's kind of like when you're half awake, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like right, yeah. I'm not sure I've had a lucid dream, so maybe that's why I don't. Oh, it's okay. just a feeling that it's a dream. I must have had before. Yeah. No, actually. There's just no you. It's just this is lucid not dreaming. Either. The, well, lucid dreaming basically is, um, I don't really have a lot of dreams, to be honest. I don't even remember the last time that I had a dream. I used to have dreams, and I loved dreams before, right? I was I was um, invested in them. I would interpret them. I would have dream stuff. I even had a tattoo because of a dream. <laughs> um, and, um, and the dream, uh, and then there were times that there'll be lucid dreaming kind of like happening, that there is a... Not really a knowing, but almost kind of like a sense or a remember. You can like, this is really dreaming. And then when you wake up, it just integrates. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like, oh, nothing's really happening. That was just a dream. So what's being expressed here that this is like lucidity. That this is just deep sleep. That this is just nothing. And so that feeling that it's a, a dream or that sense, I, I guess I should say, of that it's a dream in this, like right now, I mean, in waking <laughs> that it's a dream the sense that it's a dream is also um it's not separate, it huh? is is that is that resonance yeah. it is well i guess you just we're already saying that we're sorry <laughs> but it is that that uh, resonance or yeah. re it's, well yeah it's just it's, it's almost kind of like a, how do you, how do you is it kind of a, a warm feeling you feel in your is, heart it's like it's like an intimate familiar this is familiar kind of like you know what when you come like this is not really happening when you're familiar something else is it's it's this it's this familiar intimate kind of like warm kind of like a kind of like um you're about to figure out something but you can't figure it out you know what I'm talking about right Kelsey right this kind of like and that's why there's this, you know, when you see some of the one-on-one -on -one videos, if you notice when their speakers can like having this aha moment, they're looking around. Or when there's a new speaker that just got on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? There's just, they're like, and then they start talking that there's nothing happening or something, something kind of like that. Wow, all this stuff. And there's usually kind of like a, a, um, a disbelief that this is kind of like happening. So it's the unreal real happening at the same time. This is a dream, that kind of thing. I just got the sense that maybe the sense <laughs> that it's a dream, that it's a it's warm feeling like yeah. you might, do you feel it in your heart? There's no heart. Okay. <laughs> There's just this, it's just home. Everything is home. Somebody call me a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> In the appearance of the dream, you know what I'm saying? That there's just this. It's kind of like you've arrived, but you've not really arrived. It's kind of like being in and also not in. What's that saying? In of this world, but not of this world? Yeah. It's kind of like it, there's kind of like a, um, a tongue-in-cheek winky thing. Nothing is serious anymore, right? Because it's it's this lucidity. Yes, I'm going to release the recordings um, to the participants. Um, tomorrow maybe the first couple of days tomorrow so yeah no rest for the nothing huh
Emerson, are you the most advanced or evolved speaker? There's no Emerson, sorry. No. <laughs> There's no one um, better or lesser. This is just a communication with no one. It's not coming from anyone. I only read the questions fully if it's about good looks. <laughs> What's that? Vanity appears. Vanity appears, yes. If you're dead, might as well look good. Or die trying. <laughs> All right, no problem. <laughs> Someone said, can you do a closing remark because it's really late here in Europe? Sure. <laughs> Is that okay with you guys? Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you for staying up, you know, for people that are apparently in Europe. Um, if you have any questions, please go ahead. But um, what is being expressed here is just this, despite of me calling it this, this black hole, it's not really a thing. It's not really anything. It's this dancing stillness, this bewildering, this brilliant um, seeming appearance of something that is not really there. And this brilliant appearance can appear as questions, answers, can appear as chaos, anarchy, and everything. It seems like there's this expression. It seems like it's even intelligent, an intelligence, you know, but really it's nothing. Because what words that we try to, um, to try to capture it lacks in comparison to what is not understood. So this goes beyond be comprehension. This is this is anything that is said, anything that is be even been expressed about it. There's poetry about this. This is a poetry about this. This is the dance to this. And this and this speaking is this fanboying of this. This character is a fanboy of this. And it is, expresses it because there's this passion expression that there is nothing happening. But look at this. Look at this. There's, this is nothing. And this is everything. This is empty. This is fullness. And this is the radiance that is being longed for. It's appearing in everything. Not in the idea of what everything is, but in everything, everything. Not what I mean, but what is in between this word, the silence, the unthinkable, the unworkable, this excellence of this apparent presence that does not have any source. And all of that is just a story. Thank you so much, everyone. We're going to open up the breakout room. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is awake already. This is awake. It doesn't see separation. Everything is awake. Everything is already awake. It's always awake. And he pretends.
that it's not. It's also awake. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye bye. bye. Thank you so much. You guys want to come with us? We're going to eat some Indian food. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, or I don't know. I don't know. Whatever you guys like. My favorite food, Indian food. Delicious. Indian food. <laughs> We're going to assign you to the breakout room, um, and I'll leave this. I'll leave this open. We'll go eat, and then can I come back here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you guys want to see the apparent people here? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi.